Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be making an eruption effect using Blender and this is commonly seen in games when a character casts an eruption spell and it makes a fire explosion on the ground. So we're going to be making that. So to start off, let's make our mesh for our eruption. So let's add in a UV sphere. And for this, we only want half of the sphere. So let's go into edit mode and select all the vertices and go into x-ray mode and delete the bottom half of the vertices. All right, let's just delete all the vertices and we'll just get out of this and out of edit mode and we just have a dome shape. So let's right click and shade smooth here and this is what we're going to be used for our mesh but in the shading editor tab let's add in a new material for this let's call it option and this is going to be inside of it inner now first off the inside of the eruption is going to be the fiery clouds all right, so to start off, let's delete the Prince of BSDF and add in a noise texture. And texture coordinate node and also the vector mapping node. We'll connect these together. Let's see what we have. So here's our noise. We want to make a more so let's add in a color ramp and lower the black. All right, so all the white part is going to be our clouds, and then the black part is going to be transparent. So let's make it transparent. To do that, we're going to add in a emission node. Transparent BSDF and then mix shader. Let's connect these together. Add the color ramp to the factor. All right, now it's all greeny. We had to go into our properties menu and set the render method to blend it. All right, so here are our fiery clouds. And let's add some color into this. So let's add in another color ramp and connect this to the emission color All right, let's choose our colors to make it red and yellow this side add another one for orange alright then we also need to connect the color ramp here to this color ramp because we want the colors to be based off of this texture and not just the whole thing as a whole. All right, now it looks more like fire. And the other thing you want to do is go to the render properties and color management and select standard. Just make sure I select so you have colors which are your colors because we're out by default it's set to AGX. All right, let's turn off the emission. Okay, we can tweak this, get the yellow a little bit more brighter. All right, so that's the first layer. For the second layer, we want to make the Outside part where there's um like fiery waves on top of it. So we can easily do that. We're gonna use the same shape. So let's duplicate this. And then uh, duplicate this and then scale it a little bit. Okay. Around here is good. 
And we're just going to use the same material as base and then just edit it. So we can click the new material tab here and it will create a new one duplicate. So let's delete this and start off. So first off, we want to make um, ways which we would add in a wave texture. Let's connect the mapping to the wave texture. And let's just see how this looks. Right now, let's hide this one so we can see this. All right, so it looks like this right now. Connect the, disconnect this. All right, so we want it to be horizontal, not vertical. So let's change rotation and the Y location by 90 degrees. All right, and we also want to have a color ramp on this. So you can just color, and then we also have to change the scale for how many ways you want. Or make it softer. Okay, and then we want to mix in some noise because right now it's a straight line. Uh, we want to mix in some noise to this to make it look a little bit better as waves. So we can have a noise texture here. Use this noise texture and we only want the one direction of the noise because if we connect this, the noise would just be all over the place. So we can get a separate X, Y, Z and only get the Z value, X value, I mean. And we need to put this in the vectors. Let's use the UVs for this. Now we see that. Put this color right back. And now we see that it's all vertical noise. Increase this. Now we want to multiply these two together. And to do that, we'll have a mixed color node. Let them multiply and just multiply these two together. All right, so now we have this. Increase the factor. All right. Is this a little bit? Okay, then we can use our same colors, put this back in. Increase the emission. All right, right now there's too many lines, so let's uh, increase it to here. And then here's good. Let's put our spots back in. So the idea is to move the x axis, and when the eruption appears, you have this effect as it's going big. And same thing with the Army clouds, you can move this up and down to when using the Z axis. Or you can rotate it however you want. Alright, next we want to make the wave when it expands. So let's add in a cylinder. 
And we want to just get like a very small cylinder without the top and bottom. So let's edit this. Let's select the faces of the top and the bottom. And delete it. Delete the faces. And then we are going to scale this. Select all the vertices and scale it on the Z axis down. And let's scale this up a little bit. Okay. That looks good. And let's move this up a little bit. So it's on the ground. There we go. Get out of edit mode. And for this, let's make a new material. You can copy the material here. Um, make a new one. Eruption wave. So for this, let's go into our Uh, inner material, and you can copy these nodes and paste it here because we're going to be—it's going to be using the same nodes. Right. Uh, the transparency is not set here, so let's use it to blend it. All right, so now we have fiery wave here. And let's adjust this by decreasing the scale. And then decreasing the scale of this too. And also let's add in some white here. Okay, it a little bit, looks a little better. And the idea of this is when it, it's exploding the... You can rotate this. And it will expand out as a wave, an explosion wave. This is good. Yeah, there may be too much noise. Let's just tweak this a little bit. All right. That's basically it for this effect. It was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.